Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk about the Vivint for Home Assistant integration. One of the really cool things with this integration is that it allows you to take in different devices, sensors from your Vivint installation that you have at home, pull them into Home Assistant just like you would any other device or entity. So that allows you to build different like custom automations or scripts um, that you can use with Vivint systems just like you would any other, you know, say like camera or door sensor. Um, so one of the reasons why you might want to use this is if you have a Vivint set a, a system yourself and you sort of have an interest in Home Assistant or you're trying to sort of unify a lot of your different home automation. Another big reason and the primary reason why I sought out this integration is because it gives you a closer connection to a lot of the Vivint services and hardware, which is typically kind of closed off to you as a Vivint user. So one of the things that this really powerful integration allows us to do is to derive the RTSP streams of the security cameras of your Vivint setup. Um, and the one of the things that you can do with that information is you can then bring that into a third-party NVR solution like Frigate for um, Home Assistant, and then you can run AI-based object detection on your camera feeds. So we're not going to go into uh, how to set it up in other NVRs or anything like that. The purpose of this tutorial is just to really go over um, where you find this integration, how you would add it into Home Assistant, and then how you would use it and what it looks like once it's set up. So let's do that. Okay. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to pull up a browser. Uh, you know, I personally prefer a browser for you know known for reliability, speed, consistency, really good security, and overall consistent, balanced user and experience. So for that reason, we're going to go with Microsoft Edge. Of course, now all the windows disappear. You know, right when I need it. There we go. Okay. So here we have Home Assistant here. This is a very basic installation of Home Assistant. Not really added anything to this besides, uh, you know, just a little bit of the uh, little terminal. And then I added Hacks, the uh, Home Assistant community store. Um, we're not going to cover how to install Hacks because there's a lot of videos that already cover how to install Hacks. It's a very, very common add-on. It's used for a lot of different integrations. So. What we are going to do though is we're going to just pop over now to that Nate K. Spencer GitHub page here to go over the Vimit for Home Assistant integration. So you can see right here we got some handy step by step instructions on how we can add um, this as a custom repository into Hacks, which will then allow us to install it as an integration in Home Assistant. So we're going to go ahead and copy this here. Move to Home Assistant, click on Hex, go to Integrations, and we're going to go up here to Custom Repositories. See right here, I've already added my custom repository, the Vivint one, but how you would add it as a new user, so you paste. And then for the category, you would just select integration and you would click add. Again, I've already done this, so I'm not going to do this here. But literally, the only thing I haven't done is just click that add. Because if I do, I'm just going to get an error. So I'm going to close out of that. So that has been installed. Let's see if we can find it. I it shows up as an integration. We have this, just the overview page that we saw before, so we're going to say install this repository in Hacks. And yep, we don't want the beta version or anything like that. We just want the latest version, so we're just going to click install. Okay. So like every custom integration, you have to restart Home Assistant now. We're going to do that going over to configuration and scrolling down towards the bottom until we see server controls. And then we're just going to restart the server. This doesn't take very long, but we'll just skip over it for now. Okay, back up and running now. Here we are, back on Home Assistant. Let's just go down to Hacks real quick, peek over to Integrations, sure enough, yep. 
Vivint's now installed as a custom repository in Hacks, which means now we can go over to the main integrations page under configuration. We'll have a Vivint integration that we can add. Search for it. Here we go. Okay. So now you sign it. Don't really want my security system to get hacked, I hope. I hope you guys understand that. You know, I don't I don't really want to step on any toes here or anything, but I do have to have, you know, my own boundaries. You know, my own personal limits of what I find to be acceptable in uh, YouTube tutorial creation. Okay, so we are signed in now. And looky there. So when you see this page, you're not quite done, but all of the hard parts are done. One of the really, really cool things here is now you can simply assign the different areas for your cameras and your sensors into the different parts of your home and home assistant. Alrighty, so uh, I've just taken the time to individually assign each of the different sensors and entities that the Vivint integration um, brought in after signing in just to the different areas of my um, house in Home Assistant. So you can see right here at the page, we've got the device overview and the entity overview. Um, it's very, very common, as you can kind of see here, the overview page of all different integrations on Home Assistant. But what's really interesting is if you head over to the overview page now that we have added this integration. So here we go. Um, yeah, yeah. So let's just, let's actually, uh, let's expand this out a little bit here. Yeah, okay. Cool. So yeah, we got our different sensors down in the basement and the garage. We can see our different cameras here. Um, might take a few seconds to load, but yeah, there we go. That's the that's the doorbell, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, yeah. So got some other binary sensors here that quite haven't been assigned to areas, but as you can see, all the different smoke detectors and motion sensors and all that kind of stuff gets brought in, which is really really cool. We can also see that we have full control over the the Z Wave locks. We can lock and unlock them. We have the control panel right here, so we can arm the system and disarm it. So overall, pretty cool. But again, this is really just the basics of getting it set up. Now that this has been done, um, in a future tutorial, we'll go over how to use this integration so that you can derive the RTSP streams of these security cameras here and put them into something a little bit more intelligent. So stay tuned for next week when we uh, cover that. I mean, I don't know if it'll be next week because, like, I don't really follow production schedule, you know? Like, this isn't really, like, a full, like, YouTube channel or anything. It's just something I do on the side. So it might be next week. It might be tomorrow. It just, I don't know, executive dysfunction.